This video is brought to you by Liquid IV and Harry's. More on them after the reaction. Let's see if you know this one. Yeah, I wonder where you're going to go with this title. Do you know? I have a theory. It's not a DPC thing. Okay. Then we can right. do that later. I don't have a Ma, Greg. Okay. <laughs> hey, Ma. I don't know what you're What's doing. What's up? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Can we go get it on tonight? <laughs> yeah. We're watching Ma. Come on. It's one of the great. I have no idea. Well, I'm not disappointed at all. I should have gone with the fact that I don't have a Ma. Yeah. That would have been a better intro. I would have railed you for that. <laughs> I would have totally yes anded you the whole time. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> all right. It's just going to be a really hard one because I don't have a Ma. DPC. Ah. Uh -huh. Sucker. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> We're watching Ma. It's a horror movie. I'm the screen queen, Roxy Stryer. What? what? Do you know anything about this movie? I know it stars Octavia Spencer, and we're just a few years late to it. Better late than never. And if you guys are early, better early than pearly. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I was like, hmm, what can I do that they're right on time? You're right on time for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Yes, you are. You're right on time for being super sexy and going over to Patreon so you can be a super sexy reject because that's where Greg and John cover things exclusively yes. and watch alongs and all that great stuff. Sync up with your own copy. Yeah. I told you I'd go off right Oh, now. yeah, sure. It makes sense. I'll rearrange your dialogue Yeah, later. just like flip it on its head. Um, You know who helps us do that? Prepper. Yeah, them. Thank you so much much to Prepper for helping uh, rearrange my dialogue. <laughs> Should we watch? Let's watch. <sighs> wow. Pleasant music contrasted with a really dark forest looking vibe. Music is essential in a horror movie like this though and this coming in with the, the, the vibes. They're True. trying to trick us. We can't yeah. fall for it. I'm going to go watch a pleasant independent movie about a mom. <laughs> oh, Juliette Lewis? Yeah. And girl that looks like Juliette Lewis? <laughs> Where are you guys moving from? The big city? Dead end symbolism. Are you nervous or what? No, a little. It's a pretty big school. Well, first days are always a little goofy, but you and I are going to be fine. We are modern babes in a modern world. Oh my God, how am I related to you? Really good casting. They look so similar. I feel like they're actually related in real life because that's crazy how similar they look. Oh, oh, that's the guy from the thing. What's the, what's... Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> God damn it, Greg. Why won't you let me look up the cast beforehand? He's a guy. Yeah, he's an actor. He's a working actor. <laughs> hey, do you need some help? Yeah, maybe. She just wants attention. All I needed was a push. It should be enough. Oh, okay. It's probably going to be a horror scenario with that. You are Eric. Oh, he's... I am Stu. <laughs> How's your first day on the floor going? Is it everything you ever dreamed of? He's a really good character actor. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Every time I see him in something, he's usually doing like a different voice and mannerism. You do have a nice house. I noticed it this morning. I'm very perceptive. I'm not like a lesbian. Uh-huh. Stephanie, are you still having people over for a party tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know if I should trust her or not. No, I wouldn't, Greg. Teenage girl, Greg. Thanks, I'm going to the music festival with my mom. Okay. Damn, a lot of people would kill to be so popular. Maybe, oh. though. Have fun with your mom and all those old people. Wow. That's going to kill me, Greg. It's going to kill me. Yeah, it's going to kill me, too. <laughs> you bringing it up. <laughs> what do you want from me? To suffer in silence? I have to cover for somebody now at work. What about the music festival? We gotta make the money, so. I made you some pancakes. I'll text you a little later, okay? Who is this actress? I think she's really good. Alec is gonna kill me if you ask me about her. <laughs> <laughs> she is very good. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, shit. Boys, Woo! Maggie, Yo, Maggie. How the hell does Octavia Spencer fit into this movie? <laughs> Andy and this gay do this chest. Yeah, I'm, I'm very straight. Super, Super gay. gay. I love pussy. Super gay. Babe, tell him. Tell him I love pussy. So <laughs> tell him. <laughs> Party's canceled. Stephanie's mom's a complete bitch. And I think we're just going to like drive around and get drunk. Super cool. Great. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get drunk. Real natural personalities in this movie. Here we go. Okay, sir. Piss off, boy. Did you guys used to call this Hey Mister? No. Oh. I was homeschooled. 
I vote Maggie. She's new and no one knows who she is. Look, the cops come, just cry. They'll let you off. But they never let me off. Yeah, because they know you nasty. <laughs> oh, token black friend. I got to call out every reaction when you got one. Uh-uh, not today. Not Mom. Oh. Yeah. Hi, would you mind buying this? I have money for it. Not interested, kid. I know it's weird, but please. You want to spend the night in jail? Andy, can we just go? Yeah, let's roll. Yeah, sorry. Oh. What? Okay. A man sending a girl to do his dirty work. Ooh. I used to do the same thing when I was your age. Could you hook us up, though? I wouldn't be able to live with myself if you got into an accident. Oh, well, I'm driving and I don't drink. We were just going to go to the rock pile for a little bit. I know where that is. We used to hang out there all the time when I was a kid. You're weird. Yeah. <laughs> Hell. Hold this dog. Yes. I guess anybody who decides to do this is weird, right? Yeah. And people used to do it for me, allegedly, all the time. <laughs> okay. They didn't have whatever fireball is, so I got aftershock. They didn't have fireball. This never happened, okay? Well, thanks again for doing this, man. For doing what, darling? Oh. <laughs> oh, that old chick wants to sit on your face, dude. Wait, you think so? <laughs> uh. yeah, he's even excited about it. Yeah, well, he it was stoked. So, all right, I was, I was mad. Where'd she go? Whoa, shit. <laughs> Whoa. That got me. You changed. I'm not some thug. No, of course not. Thanks. Job safe. Is she going to meet them there, you think? I don't know. They she said got... where they were going. She's not some thug. Oh, now she got changed. Cut into her perspective now. She clearly recognized him or something. It was whenever he got out of the car. I think it just triggered a memory of sorts. Or the guys making the girl do something. Bingo. What? She did. We did see her clock the car. Maybe something happened with them. I guess it's like an obsession movie. Maybe she was a ma and she lost her kid. Mm. So when'd you get here? From where? From San Diego, like a week ago. Oh yeah, that's a. It's enough time to realize there's nothing to do in this town. He's hitting on her, Greg. Is that what it's like? <laughs> <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, um. Luke, Luke, Luke Evans. Yeah. What an introduction. The. Good job, sound that we're hearing. <laughs> it's excessive. Uh, yes, hello. This is Ben. Ben Hawkins. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, you do. A young man you know just might be drinking booze with his friends out at the rock pile. And who might I know? Andy. Okay. Oh, Allison. Was it Channing? Yeah. I got you. I know, but you're really real proud of yourself right now, aren't you, Roxy? Yes, I am. Why isn't this dog prepped? Just, you know what? I don't want to see you anymore today. Go. You go home. I'll prep this dog. Stay off your damn phone. Oh, you just signed your death warrant. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if that was a mistake that they kept. Yeah. Maybe. Come on out. I said oh, get okay, out of here. Sir, Come sorry. on. Hey. You too, bud. Come on. Oh, these guys have been caught before, huh? Just got a phone call from somebody telling me that there were some teenagers drinking out at the rock piles. You see anybody out here, young lady? Sir, we don't know. Wrong know. young lady. Huh? Put your arms out. Put them out. Wide. Back up. Move back. See if there's drinks in your pockets. Your daddy sent me out here to arrest you. I played football with your dad in high school. That's how they know each other. And he's a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back in 10 minutes, and all your shit out here is going to be gone. You got it? Yep. Yeah, I got Do it. Do you? Interesting how it's like a small town, but no one knows who Octavia Spencer is. I love that that uh, uh, misdirect. Uh, and your dad's a... That's definitely going to come back, too. You got hot, and they asked me to go out, so I said, okay, come back here. Why should I wait around for you while you're at work all day? How is that fair? Yup. <laughs> Don't project. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a teenage girl still. How is she? Like, as if she's not supposed to be at work all day. Hi, I'm Erica. Oh, my God. It's all coming together. Boy offers shots. This is Louie. She knows exactly who she is because she looked her up. Actually, I'm running late for work. Can I just fill this out later? Oh, yeah. Just just sign the bottom now. I'll do the rest. If this dog dies, I'm going to be so upset. You care about more about animals in every single movie than you ever cared about. Of course. They're innocent. Know? As opposed to teenagers who are... The teenagers are another contribution to the scum of human society. Why aren't you answering the phones? Sorry, I'm fighting a migraine. <laughs> Well, go get some horse tranquilizer. I don't care. Do your job. She, <laughs> from what we've seen, it's not like she's aces at her job, but Allison Janney's character is mean. I mean she's just, Allison Janney's so good at playing mean. <laughs> so good at it. Hey, are you going to meet a boy? We're, we're just friends. 
Okay, well, be smart and call me if you need me to come get you. I won't be mad. Promise? You know what? This feels like a refreshingly nuanced dynamic in one of these kind of movies where mom and daughter have to move to a small town together. It's so important to tell your kids that you won't be mad if they need you so that they don't end up drinking and driving. There's some like, ass in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here she comes, here she comes. Wow, they're just going to try to take advantage. I got two bottles of Parrot Bay, uh, 18 pack of Bud Light, and they had the fireball this time. Well, who are you? <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you just uh, follow me down the street and you can pay me and get the stuff. I don't want to lose my job. Cool. Yeah, I'll follow you. This is so kind of sad. Uh, I feel sad well, there's for her. something going on, so don't feel sad for her yet, Greg. You don't tell me how to feel. I don't mansplain your emotions. You don't womansplain my emotions. I just don't want you to end up eating crow. When clearly something's up with her. But there's such a sadness in her eyes. <laughs> I'll never forget what happened in our reaction to mm. that little girl. The little girl without parents. What was that movie called? <laughs> I can't think of it. The orphan. <laughs> she said we could hang out in her basement if we didn't want to drive around all night. What a creep. No, no, no. We don't, we don't know this chick. Yeah. Smart guy. What do you think? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I remember being a teenager, and you, you do find those like weird adult friends who are like cool, with, like these lonely adults who are cool with hanging out with you. But she's clearly going to be like a psychopath or something. They weren't actually cool. No, exactly. That's <laughs> what, I'm saying the perspective when you're a teenager, and they were all right. Okay. Okay. The bar is open. Do you think she's going to make them call her ma? Yes. It's nasty. Santa baby. Oh no, what's she about to say? Ah, ah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> ah, ah. My only house rules are don't take the Lord's name in vain. God damn it. And don't spit on my floors, please. I'm gonna need your keys. Don't spit on my. She takes his keys. She takes his keys. Okay, oh, and nobody go upstairs. That's my world, and right now it's a mess. So uh, you guys are free to do whatever you wanna do down here, but. Thanks, lady. Lady. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, what's your name? Sue Ann. So innocent. You got any pizza rolls, Ma? Ma. Ma. Oh, he just called her Ma. Make yourselves at home. Gosh, this is so sick. <laughs> this is not, so not sick. I would have ended up here, I think, I was that kid. Like, I see myself in all of them, and I hate that for us. Is she publicly following them? No. Oh, you guys are cute. It's nice. Please don't post those. Why? I actually think that might save them if they does. Then maybe they'll be able to find I them. I mean, they're not if thank you, I guess, but but their parents will get mad at them. Better than being dead. You know what you need? Couch there, snack wall, bam. Snack wall. I'll get right on that as soon as I win the lot. Then I can turn this place into the Taj Mahal. I mean, unless you hate huh. being cool. Wow. If you don't want to be cool, that's on you. What the hell? Just saying. <laughs> what the hell? What is this guy? You want to see something cool? Sure. Whoa. Strip. Get naked, boy. Uh, this this just escalated really fast. He's got a cross on. Oh my god. This is really awkward. Why aren't any of them doing anything? She's got a gun. Yeah, I know, but just like look around like I don't know. Oh my god, she'd be checking it out. You are under arrest for being so dang cute. <laughs> Put that thing away. <laughs> this thing doesn't even work. Are we cool? <laughs> we'll see. You gotta have some sense of awareness like, that yeah, you what? shouldn't be around this person, right? Now like, I'm no I, longer I don't care with how, them. I don't care how old you are. Like, at this age, you should know. <laughs> like, something's up. <laughs> yeah, I'm super duper with you. Until that point, it's like I, you can see how yeah. they got there. You're married? He left years ago. My finger's too fat to get it off, so... That's going to come back, too. She's a, so good. <laughs> like, Octavia Spencer? Yeah. <laughs> She's so damn good. Get home safe. That's all I care about. I can't believe that she's the only one we knew was in this movie. Now you know where the party is. Like, I like how she's playing it very sincere and not... Ooh, flashback. Uh, not, like, up in the psycho element. We're going to head back to the Rock Palace tonight if you want to come. That sounds... Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh, she's making up for childhood trauma. It'll be fun. This 
structure of it's so interesting. Normally, I don't think you would spend this much alone time with the Octavia Spencer character. I'm having a really hard time not buying that they wouldn't be talking about, you know, like the gun situation, the gun and having, yeah. having him stripped down and stuff. And she's like a much older person and stuff. You guys got to set some private profiles. I don't know what her angle is yet. Payback? But I like the percolating mystery to yeah. it. Like you don't know what, but you want to stick you know around yeah. and find out. Oh, wait, excuse me. Those aren't for you. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Erica? Mercedes. <laughs> Hi. Uh, did you, like, go to California or something? And, like, you're going to, like, make it? Oh. I got married. I moved to California. And my marriage didn't make it. Oh, okay. You, like, left and then you had to come back here? That is so sad. <laughs> wow. Mercedes, come on. Yeah, you left my bag on the table. Mom, I see you, Erica. I see you. What is Luke Evans' character? Hey. No one is coming over while I'm gone, okay? I know. Mm, well, they don't have to come over. Yeah, but that boy, he'd be cute for her. She'd be into him. She's looking out the window. Whoa. That's like a... I feel like the director, I don't know who directed this, is, is going for a semi-Hitchcock vibe. Yo, what the... What the That's a bomb, bro. That would suck so hard. Wow. I was just thinking... Why wait for the weekend? It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> this is way better. Maggie! Andy! Holy shit. She's throwing an entire shindick. Got you some wings? Oh, no thanks, Sam. I'm good. See what I am? Oh, uh-uh. Around here, you can call me Ma. She's even got a new getup. Okay. <laughs> she liked when he called her Ma. I'm with you now, Greg. I feel for her. Oh, no. Yeah, well, they're showing that she's a, just a traumatized woman who's acting out in ways that have not been resolved at all. That's Ashley, and she's faking it. Her dad's a pastor, so she comes to parties, pretends to be passed out so she doesn't have to drink, and then she won't get in trouble when she goes home. <laughs> Is something going to happen that I don't want to see happen? Let's get this party turned up. <laughs> So this might not be a kidnap movie, which is what I was expecting. I, I think it's just a weird obsession movie. Yeah, I, I love the build up to the horror because not the horror is it's just like uncomfortable right now. But usually when you take us to a different location like this, like a yeah. remote, you took the car key, you know. But the way she like connects with the young male characters is yeah. so weird. I want to take her to Funky Time! And remember, she was like, don't come upstairs, don't come upstairs? Yeah. What's upstairs? So do y'all up to Oh, hey! Yeah, talking about going to drink here really did trick her. Why aren't you up dance with everyone? Well, I guess I was playing with you. Yeah, go to a lot of parties. No, it's uh, no, it's it's fine. There's a first time for everything. Oh no! Oh no! There is a social anxiety to this. I like your hair. Thanks. <laughs> I like yours. Really? Thank you. Oh no, Greg. What happened that night? Those earrings are beautiful, Maggie. Thanks. I mean, well, my dad gave them to my mom, and then she gave them to me. I mean, they're broken up now, but. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. Keep talking. Ma, come here. We're toasting you. Do a shot. Ooh, I, I don't drink. I mean, the last time I did, you really don't want to know. I kind of do. Yeah. I really. kind of want to know everything. Ma, 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 ma. ma, ma. Ice machine. Crank up the music. Huh? That definitely sounded like there was a human being banging. What if it's the dude? She still has him upstairs. Oh, we gotta oh. put someone back to sleep. Oh, it's the guy that. Which guy? From the flashback. Still? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I am to be. Oh, no. Hi, Ashley. I see you slept it off. Very funny, Haley. I think Kinsey and Dustin are there. Well, let's see it. Oh, no. They're gonna go upstairs. Oh, no. No, we can't go up there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Purge. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful up here. I don't want to hear it, Greg. 
No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, no. Oh my god. Oh, this is actually pretty tense. No, she's gonna be standing right there. I know she's gonna be standing right there when they open the door, Greg. I actually don't want to look. I know she's right there. She's right there. Ah! What the f are y'all doing? Huh? Get back down there. We gotta go. We gotta go. Can we please just get out of here? Oh my god. She has our keys or no? Is she the girl at the beginning of Smile? Was the boy she was flirting with Luke Evans? Oh, back in the day? Yeah. That kind of makes sense, Greg. You might be putting pieces together. Because remember, she clocked the name on the car. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. And then she calls him. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's like all of Roxy's exes. Hey, <laughs> so do you think that she'd let us throw a birthday party at her house this weekend? I'm sure she'd be down. You just, like, give her a list of stuff and she'll hook it up. That's crazy. It's illegal what oh, she's doing. Oh, your bracelet. Where did you get it? Taylor gave it to me for our five months. Aww. So I finally let him go down on me. Aw. That's nice. Do you want to go out with me? Yeah. I was going to text you first, but then I was like, oh, I should ask old school and cute. Oh. Either she said yes or you're holding her against her will. <laughs> oh, I love love, bro. Don't you love love? I friggin' adore love. <laughs> this movie's yeah, smart. They get you invested in these. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Crazy woman back. I got us a beer pong table and a keg of Bud Light is on ice again oh, all day. She is desperate. Tonight, I have to write about historical shipping routes of Africa, so. Yeah, all those ships with our people in the belly, ain't that right, Sue Ann? That doesn't seem to be eliciting the response you want. <laughs> Damn, Ma, don't you got a job? Damn, woman. I guess I should work a double since you guys don't have time for it. Girl, you need a man. Girl, you need to watch your mouth. I mean, she is being really rude. Which one? Uh, the friend, the girlfriend. I mean, she came. She's to... right, but still, it's at the same time. It's like, yo, this girl, Ma helped you out a lot with partying. Okay, it's a toxic dynamic, regardless. Here you go. All right, thanks, Ma. You need to follow me. These group of friends are just not giving you the the vibe you want. This is a very unique plot. It is because what a slow burn. It's got me by the the throat right now, like yeah. full chokehold. If you told me I had to stop watching this movie right now, hey, I would go. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> what have you done, you asshole boys? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, this is so sad. Ooh, got chills everywhere. What kind of it chills? Is so, it's getting you so invested. <laughs> like, it's a good, good ping pong game of like, I care about her, she's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry I've been gone so much. No, it's okay. I know you're working hard and someone's got to pay the bills, right? There we go. <gasps> Character change. How's school? School is good. Tell, Tell her you have a boyfriend. Boy. Andy asked me out. <gasps> he asked you out? Who's Andy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to meet this Andy. Maybe next week. We're going out tomorrow night if that's cool. I think it's super cool. It is so cool. You have a boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Guess. Oh, this I remember a... that feeling. Oh, DPC sad. <laughs> it's like you're activating an emotion. DPC sad. <laughs> Pow. Did she say pout? Or power. <laughs> the girl who pretends to be passed out. That's got to be more to that, right? Everybody was... <laughs> the music in this is A+. Plus. Where are all these people? They're always from other schools. From other schools? She's recruiting more and more kids. Here, let me get you a drink. Uh, yeah, something sweet. Just like you, sugar. <laughs> He's a cutie. Yeah, he is. You be careful now. Oh, no. Men are dogs. They only want one thing. You don't want to mess your life up with a baby. Jesus, you sound like my mother. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, that was the first time we're kissing. It's the first time we're seeing it. Okay, that, that was that was great. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was gonna ask you. Oh God, no, that was nothing. You should always ask permission. I ask my wife to this day. Every time. And every time. Maggie, do mine for me. You know I can't keep up. Uh, I don't know. If I do more than one, I'll be sick. Don't be a loser. Just do it. Is this drugged? Okay, it's Stephanie. <laughs> 
Don't be a loser. Just do it. Oy vey. Oh, shit's about to get oh, no. oh, darkly no. hypnotic. She said she's going to be sick. Oh, no. It's it's like there's buildup of desire and resentment that are converging. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's staring at her. She knows. She drugged it. Ah, ah. Yeah, she did some stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no, Greg. It is a kidnap movie, isn't it? It's a dog movie. <laughs> What? What? That is a horrifying scenario. She took her earrings? Earrings. I don't want to hang out at Ma's anymore. And I don't want you there either. Why? Because she drugged me. Aww. Okay, I won't. But now you have to go get egg rolls with me. Okay. I'm going to put ketchup on them. What a trade. Egg rolls with ketchup? Whatever. Whatever Andy wants. Leave his ass. He's not going to go disgusting. to Ma's anymore. <laughs> Oh, this is where she's getting her drugs to trank them. That's why she's working at the vets. Oh, shit. What? She's home. She's home. She's like a, a vampire. <laughs> Who? Like Octavia Spencer. Oh. Like feeding on the, the youth. <laughs> oh, my God. He is totally has a right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. With the mom coming. Ah, no, there's ways of hiding it. That's why he's sitting down. What's up? Hi, Mrs. Thompson. I'm... Andy, nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you. Oh, no. Oh, no. How was work? Oh, her hair. It was busy. <laughs> Pick it up the pillows. You too thirsty? Oh, jeez. My mom passed away five years ago. DPC. DPC. Is your dad Ben Hawkins? Yeah. We went to high school together. <laughs> and that's why she hates him, Andy. Dad's got a buddy now. Sorry. Mercedes. Why you said that so casually? How do we like her? Let's just say I'm more of a Porsche kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Than Mercedes. Yeah, she's a bitch. Oh. Sorry. Do you want some? <laughs> <laughs> I know they had to have cast adults just because of the mature content that's in here, uh, but they really cast people who feel like teenagers still. Yeah. Like they might be 19 or something. Oh, just fuck her. I did. I feel bad. Don't. You know what? I'm going to tell everyone else too. She just needs a little bit of validation. Everybody block Ma for good. I'm serious. That bitch is crazy. Oh, that is so... We'll see if we can, like, hang out in her lame-ass house instead. Okay? That is way too far. Do you mind? How about you mind your own damn business? You making your business my business. Not today, old lady. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> I do think when I'm getting my nails done, it is rude when people play videos too loud. So I do feel the old lady. <laughs> Everybody block Ma for good. But she I said she it, blocked Ma. So how's Ma watching this? She has a finsta. I don't agree with the way Haley treats her, though. Yeah, obviously, Greg. She's a teenage girl. But Ma is. I'm oh, like Ma right now. No. Lashing out at how when I was a teenager and how teenage girls treated me, you know? But you were another teenager. Yeah, but I remember being a teenager and what it was like. I'm just saying, Ma's an adult. Yeah, but she's so mean. Close the door. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Greg, this is when it happens. Ah, uh, humiliation. I don't want to hear it. They're going to make us feel horrible for her, and then she does evil things. Well, the generation deserves it now. I'm team Ma. That guy has to be Lucas. Hey, this is Ma. I got a new number. <sighs> just pick it up a few <gasps> Look, I really need you to meet me at the rock piles after school tomorrow. The rock piles, huh? It's an emergency. Oh, she knows how to bait. She knows how to bait. Oh, I really hope our girl doesn't go solo. Sorry for the dramatics. It's just that uh, I'm sick. <laughs> it's cancer. She's so lying, huh? Obviously. The doctors don't really know how to treat it. Meds make me less fun and, and not myself. So. And she's crying. She can believe the lie. I'm going to beat this, right? <laughs> great, great. Lure them in with your sympathy. The bracelet. The bracelet is that girl's that they complimented. Yeah. And she has it on her wrist. If you have time or you want to come over on Saturday, no pressure. <laughs> I love her so much. Reel them in with guilt. Where is the girl who had the bracelet? Does she have her? Or did she just take the jewelry like she took her earrings? She was wearing Stephanie's bracelet. I've been missing my grandma's ring, and my mom is going to 
and kill me if I don't find it. You know, I'm missing the earrings my mom gave me. We're going to that bitch's house. Uh-oh. Hey, what if somebody sees us? We're in bum, dumbass. Nobody's going to see us. You know what? Kudos to the script. It's a that's a smart way to get these two to get in the house without her there, without them seeming like idiots about it. I'm very upset right now, Greg. Why? This is just scary. <laughs> 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 they're gonna find the guy. Nobody knows they're there right now. They've told nobody. Or not, I don't even know if it is a guy. They're gonna find somebody because we know she's keeping somebody. And then Ma's going to come home, and then they're going to get kidnapped, and it is a kidnap movie, and I knew it was a kidnap movie because I just felt it in my blood. And who cares about the jewelry? Obviously, I would care about the jewelry too, but just let it go. Did, did we just... What the hell? I don't know. I don't know, Greg. What the hell? Why is no one noticing this? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you right now. Maybe we've been assuming that Sue Ann is actually her as a kid, but really it's not her. Some she girl. took that person's name and she has the person upstairs. Oh my God. Took her identity or something. This is so creepy. Oh my God, Greg. They're not even paying attention to their surroundings, Greg. You gotta be like Batman in this case. Ben, I didn't know you worked here. How are you? First time he's kind of nice. I'm, I'm good. <sighs> well, uh, this old guy needs his shots. Our vet moved to Florida in December, so we're looking for a new spot. She's going to kill the cat. How long's it been? Uh, 15 years? 20? Something like that. <sighs> that makes me feel old. I don't like it. Me neither. I feel it every day. Oh, just, just sign it. I'll do the rest. Sure. She knows all the information. We should catch up sometime. Really? I'd like that. Would you? You know McGill's pub? I'll come back after work, pick him up, and we can go right there. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to go in my scrubs. How about I meet you there at six? All right. I don't know if she's going to go home to get ready. What if he pulls another prank? Oh, it is Ben. Okay, so it was her. Maybe she's still in love with him? This girl's. Yeah, she was jealous. Oh, that girl's Erica uh, Thompson. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You might want to um, take a Oh, my God. What is happening right now? Oh, the girl who's in the wheelchair. Is she the daughter? <laughs> what are you doing here? I live here. This is my house. You can walk? I mean, I thought that... I'm not supposed to. I'm sick. Is this like Munchausen or whatever? She's not actually sick. She's making her daughter sick, so she needs her. I haven't seen you at school in, like, forever. I get sick a lot, and my mom thought it would be better if I stay home for a while. The doctors say it's my spine, and it's getting worse. I think you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, Sue Ann, is your your mom? You think Ben's her dad? Uh, whoa. That would be a twist. No, she said she was married before. To Ben? No. <laughs> he said it had been 15, 20 years. Oh, shit. You guys should leave. My mom oh my doesn't God. like when anybody's in her room. It's better not to get her upset. Maybe I'll see you at school. Maybe. Yeah. Go ahead. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Greg. I think Stop you're... asking me so many questions. <laughs> I don't know. It's go, go. She went to the dry cleaners and everything. Uh-oh. Something's been rearranged. The cats. You been down here messing with these kitties? No, ma'am. But they've been moved. Terrible hiding place. Are you guys kidding? And obviously the gun does work that she was floating around. Remember? Yeah. Why would you? No. You no. guys are making way They're too much stuck noise. Stuck down there. Oh, oh, no, she's gonna be right there. Ah, 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 he doesn't want the kids to know about her, so she keeps them here. She keeps her here. Your hair is way too long, so maybe we should just cut it all off before it all falls out. Yeah, the kids will make fun of you. That's what they do. That's why you have to stay here with me, where it's safe. What a covetous personality. You told me this movie was fun, Greg. It was really fun. You're not having a fun time? I'm scared crap. <laughs> this is um, very not typical, though. They're doing a good job. Oh my God, is he standing her up? I'm gonna get on your knees, put it in your- Remember that's what she said, pow, girl. That's what she said when she's getting ready. <gasps> He's there. I'm so sorry I'm late. 
Don't even worry about it. I'll have Maker's Neat and see what Diet Coke, please. Are you really gonna make me drink alone? Oh, I am content to sit here and watch you do your thing. Do you know what this is? It's a personal tracking device. Ooh. He knows. I have these devices on my entire fleet of trucks and vans, including my son Andrews. He knows. What is my son spending time at your house? C could we please not do this here? Oh, here's what I think. I think you're trying to get back at me. Yep. How about we both know you had a thing for me and I barely gave you the time of day. You're a loser, Sue Oh, my God. We heard that he was a dick from the cop. And now Andy's going to suffer because of him. And if I hear that my son has ended up anywhere near you or your damn house, I won't be calling the police. I'll handle it myself. Dude, how did Andy turn out so nice? His mom who died, maybe she was sweet. Mom went to high school with her parents. Like, she tore out pages from her yearbook and pasted herself in pictures with your dad and my mom and Mercedes. Who cares? It's so creepy. Hey, all that medicine makes you do some weird stuff. <laughs> you can't be serious. My mom acted weird, too, before she died. Not like this. Yeah, a lot of people don't, though, yeah. I'm sorry about your mom. I don't think Sue Ann has cancer. Yeah. I think she used to be in love with your dad and I think she's like in love with you now. Oh no. Hard. I didn't worry about that. She should ask her mom about her. I think she's there. Hi, honey. This is Sue Ann. Nice to meet you, Meg. Putting up the act. She works at the vet where we take Lou. And guess what? We went to high school together. Oh, great. Sorry to just drop by unannounced. <laughs> just get so attached to these animals so quickly. There's probably something wrong with me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Come by anytime. You're welcome. <laughs> what the hell? Death warning. Maggie, you look after that dog for me now. The dog's gonna die. <gasps> don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't. Okay, this is the, the J scene with Ma and... Was I good? Yeah. Are there other people there? Maybe. And are you going to talk to me tomorrow? Let's get out of here. Wow, what a jerk. Everyone's there? Ben? Surprise! <laughs> oh, who who was it? Oh, God, that took forever. So, how was she? Was she good? It was awesome. <laughs> that is cruel. That is really messed up. It's like in Revenge of the Nerds when he puts on the... And she thinks she's having sex with her boyfriend, but she's not. Which is illegal and considered an assault. Oh! <gasps> what the hell just happened? <laughs> she has <is> snapped. <laughs> Was that Mercedes? Yeah. Wow. Team Ma. It's time. The reckoning has come, Roxy. Craig. They punished her as a child. Now it's time to punish their children. She obviously took the dog, so are you still team ma? It depends on what happens to this dog right now. Oh my god, you're bleeding. Oh shit, not team ma anymore. I'm anti-mom now. I don't even like my own mom now. Hello? Wow, who could that be in those pants? Holy shit. She just gone full psychopath now. I'm gonna call Sue Ann and Don't. She... This is not cool. Don't call her. Why? Time to tell mom the truth. Yeah, you gotta. Well, look who it is. Enough. Shit. Where's my son? Yeah. I know he's here. Andrew, come out here! Do you know what this is? What? Yeah. Oh boy. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> She took the tracker off of the car. This is just ramped up. <laughs> oh, no. Holy balls, what is she about to do? I'll let Andy know you'll be out late. <laughs> it was just such like a turn. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with you at first. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, I thought we'd see it. Fill me in that closet. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. No. <laughs> Do not show this. <laughs> Maybe not. <sighs> what you did to me, the humiliation, it never goes away. But then it hit me. You see, you treated me like a dog because that's what you are. You, <laughs> you're no man. She's putting dog's blood into him? Uh, yeah, I think you're right. What would that do, though? I don't know. I don't know if she knows. <laughs> I was just a kid. So was I, <laughs> No. 
What direction is this movie going to go? I don't know, Greg. I really don't know. Is it going to like morph into a dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's my day off. You're getting up and coming with me to run errands. And your butt's in my car at 8 a.m. Yeah, you're pissing around because what? Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, no. You ever come near my house or my daughter again? I'm calling the police. Oh, I know how to deal with your type. Pretty, athletic, popular. That's not her anymore. How does it feel to be on the outside looking in? You need help. Sounds like someone's a little jealous. Jealous? I think I thought we had some kind of a connection, but you just threw it all away. You threw it all away! Grateful bitch to think I took care of Mercedes for you. Wow. What'd you just blurt out? She just blurted that shit out. <laughs> no one's reported on Mercedes' death or disappearance. Yeah, well, because it just happened and then Luke Evans is kidnapped. Look who I found. Fucking kidding. She's mine now. Oh, the earrings. Way to rub it in. Oh, don't take the bait. Just call the cops. This is a bad idea. Just call the cops. In life, man. there are good ideas and there are bad ideas. This is a bad idea. And he's being a bad boyfriend, though. What? Probably. I don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't so speak. He's not supposed to be there. Yeah, but maybe. Who knows? You said you weren't going to hang out here anymore. It's Jazz's birthday. So? I didn't have a choice. And if I told you, you would have been pissed. Yo, drink. Mom's getting everyone out of here, okay? She just wants to hang out with the original right. crew, okay? And using the cancer to guilt him into doing all this. Time for bed. Wait, it's almost over. I said turn it off. Open your mouth. I hope she kills her mom. Well, that's what happened with Ruby, uh... Gypsy Rose. Oh no, she's gonna walk them in. No, Greg, 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 purge. <laughs> I don't believe it. Is she gonna incinerate them or something? Oh. Oh no, oh no. But her mom knows. Her mom's gonna wake up. Don't you have a cell phone? Call the cops. Call your mom. Oh, the, or the cops. Yeah. <laughs> Call the cops. Oh my god. Where's the gun? Look for the gun. No. Would she have just left the gun in the basement? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Greg. Holy Hannah. Oh my god, she's right behind her. No, Greg. No, what are you kidding me? Yeah. Why would she be behind her? No, 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 you know. Stop it. Stop it, Greg. Stop. 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 Ugh. This movie's unbearably <laughs> torturous. No, no, we're not going upstairs. You, where is the cell phone? She should have a cell phone. We're playing with shadows now. Now we're playing with shadows. Greg, we're playing with shadows. <laughs> she said help. No, I. you hate to hear it. I think she's playing an audio to lure. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, it's Luke Evans. I forgot he was up there. No, no. <laughs> He's way dead. No, no, not ma, 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 ma. No. I feel so defeated right now, Greg. <laughs> Her mom wakes up and she's not there and she's got to go to Ma's. Get to Ma's. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, movie. I, now I know where we're going, so get over to Ma's. Come on, come on, come on. You're going to call Luke. He doesn't pick up. You got to get there. You got to get there. Max! She's not responding, so go look for... Go. That much diazepam can knock out a great Dane for five hours. Oh, no. You know, some people just fit right in. She's going back to sleep. <laughs> must be nice, most handsome. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, ow. Are you going? Oh. <laughs> Look for your keys. Oh, she's not going to have her keys. How's she going to get there? Why didn't she call the... She has a cell phone. This ought to shut you up for once. I don't want to look. Tell me what happened. Is she happens, going to I sew her mouth? I, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's oh my God. going to sew her mouth. Is that what's happening? Because yeah. I actually can't look. I actually cannot. What's happening? Tell me what's happening. She's sewing her mouth <laughs> shut. I am so upset right now. <laughs> Stu, Maggie's gone. Which one's Stu? Oh, Stu's the dude, the character actor. And that's what we go for. Oh, my God. That God is mother. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Ew, that is disturbing as hell. This movie just like jumped on a trampoline with rocket launchers on its shoes. <laughs> They've only got room for one of us. Oh my God. 
painting him white. They intentionally had a token black friend. Ma? Oh, no. Ma, are you mad at us? You asked the right questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to die. She's going to kill him. This feels nice. Like we're the only two people in the world. You know who we are. The cutest couple. Yeah. We are. You're most charming, too. For sure. I love you. Is he going to kiss her? Oh, my That's God. That's smart. Play into it. So smart. This is actually unwatchable, Greg. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. I, but I'm like this. <laughs> yep, there it is. Uh, <laughs> didn't work. Liar. Please. You need help. <laughs> what a pleasant doorbell couple cars on the street parked near your driveway. Is there anything you need to share with me? Must be some sort of sorority prank or something. I guess I'll have to spend the whole day picking all that up. Who's in this house with you, Sue Ann? I mean, there's a whole bunch of, like, phone evidence of her, like, having parties. Oh, no, she's gonna stab him. Oh. Um, is everything okay? You should not. The one time you shouldn't come in the room. My apologies, young lady. I hope you feel better. That's a cop. I feel guilty. Ah! The gun has come back. You just made me kill this man. Blaming her. Get your ass out of that chair and help me drag him inside. Wow, she is ruthless. Yeah, because once she decided to kill one of them. Yeah. Bad girl, Meg. Told you not to make a sound. Get up. We have to set the picture. What were we looking at? <laughs> what was going on? Yearbook pictures. When her si when the her bestie ha tries to open her mouth and realizes it's sewn shut to scream. Where do you want me? Oh, you're not going to be in the picture. You're going to take it. The button on the front. What a disturbing ass photo. One more. Greg. Greg. Are they all alive? I feel like a couple of them are dead. No, the only one who's dead. I don't know. I, I don't know, Greg. <laughs> I gotta look up what this was inspired by. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. No! Oh, don't No, 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 no. Do the next <laughs> next step. Oh god, here it is. I don't want to see it. I actually don't want to look. Yeah, yeah. Go help them. Oh, she's a gangster. I love this girl. Even though she knows nothing else. What a... I love her. Oh, no. Where's Ma? Where's Ma? Oh, my God. He's still alive, Andy. They're all still alive? Yeah. Ma. Let Mom burn. No. No, don't. Come on, baby. Oh, she's just so broken. Luan, please. Luan. Send your daughter upstairs. Don't kill your own daughter. Okay. Oh, the knife. I am not weak. I'm not my mother. Okay, it's an interesting choice of words right there. <laughs> Your mom did just save you. I feel like they wanted that to be her arc and they forced that line in. Everything else has just been like golden. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow, you walking around pretty casually with a knife wound in your back like that. Go lay in bed. I forgot about him. You constantly forget about him. I know. <laughs> well, it's just like his son's out. Andy doesn't even know his dad's up there. Is she or is she not going to suck his dick right now? Okay. There you go. It's tender. I love this like, classic tragedy music. It's so Hollywood. So is it about to end? It's just over now. Ma!
Tate Taylor. Is that the guy who did the help? I don't know. That's a very different movie. What? Are you sure? I think it's the same guy who did the help. All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. Whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. Because Sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. I'm also big on efficiency. Plus it's packed with a lot of essential vitamins and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy free, gluten free, and dairy free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I won't. So if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code rejects at checkout. That's liquidiv.com promo code rejects. And remember, liquid IV, it's not a real IV, but it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Thrilled to be partnering with a brand I've been using for nearly two years now, and that's Harry's Razors. I'm generally more drawn to anything that goes against the norm, and Harry's does just that in the grooming world. They saw the high prices in the industry and decided to blaze their own trail with quality and affordability. I keep a beer, but whenever you see these cheeks in the neck clean, and that's the work of Harry's right there. Keeps my wife happy, and Harry's makes it effortless. They're precision blades that cut smoothly with less drag, making every shave satisfying. And yeah, Yes, it's versatile for other areas too, you know what I mean? So as a Harry's devotee, I can vouch for their value. You can experience unparalleled comfort and quality in your grooming routine where exceptional craftsmanship meets affordability, making a smart choice for a top-notch shave without breaking the bank. Their kits and value packs for shaving are unbeatable, but Harry's is not just about shaving. Again, they offer top quality, thoughtfully designed grooming products, including shampoo, conditioner, and amazing body wash without the premium price. Quality, affordability, that's a thesis of this. Now these I actually pulled right from my own bathroom. I regularly use their five blade razor with a nice weighted handle and their foaming shave gel. Man, this that ball, it is a game changer. I just like the feel of it. Now I have to commit to keeping this in my hand the whole time because I'm not going to go to the bathroom in the middle of shooting this. The handles, they feel perfectly balanced and the razor sleek design is a classy addition to my bathroom. And the quality of the shave, unparalleled. Gotta reiterate, keep part of my weekly grooming ritual because their entire range of products fits seamlessly into my routine. Definitely no reshoots here. Their German engineer blades are durable and refill plans are economical. Rarely use the word economical, but I'm using it now. Plus their commitment to high customer satisfaction and no risk trial makes Harry's a no brainer this gel really does feel good. Let me say once more, choosing Harry's means quality and affordability. By grabbing your $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash rejects, you're not only getting a great deal, but you're also supporting this channel. That's harrys.com slash rejects for your $3 trial set. Stay sharp and embrace the extraordinary with Harry's. Till next time, Reject Nation. Till next time. I need to know all the things. Let me tell you the things I need to know, because I need to know so many things right now. What do you need to know? Oof, that movie messed me up. I, I mean, know. or did that flip you out as much as me? <laughs> so definitely not. I was like, Roxy's really going through it right now. <laughs> you, you didn't feel what I felt during this movie? I think we have, t sometimes we are very much aligned. I was really into it, uh, and, and but I, you were like on the edge of your, you, you were having, I think like, I what is it about it that was getting to you so much? That, I mean. Why? Tell me the why, the why. The, the reasons. It felt, <laughs> okay, it was so slow in the best way possible in terms of, like, they wanted to toy with us and, like, um, it, it was agonizing. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know to what extent she'll go. You just know she's kind of creepy.
but throwing in the flashbacks and having it be with animals and kids and like also having us dislike the older generation because of all the messed up things they did, but then taking it out on the kids, man, that just like, ooh. and then the sewing of the mouth, the iron to the body, the just banging, hitting her Mercedes with the car. <sighs> That was tough. That was a tough one. That was a great movie. I thought that movie was excellent. Uh, Did that not have an an unre like that? uh, To me, that should have a crazy good Rotten Tomato score. It doesn't. No, that's stupid. People are stupid. That movie's excellent. (laughs) Let's look it up. That's mean of me, but that movie was excellent. I mean, like, I think that movie did exactly what it set out to do, which was just to toy with us for 90 minutes. Yeah. It felt like a two-hour movie. Uh, How long was it? Hour you, 35? You're just typing in her name. Yeah, because when you type in Ma, oh, like a billion other things come oh, up that's that are true. not Ma. Because I always see M.A. and I think Massachusetts. 55%. And a 64 audience score. I'm shocked it's not higher than that. That's shocking. Octavia, we go back up. Octavia, Octavia Spencer's performance overpowers many of Ma's flaws, but even uneven pacing and a labored story keep this thriller from fully realizing its unhinged potential. So you agree. You think it has potential. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that... I, I'm trying to... F- properly formulate i really enjoyed it i didn't love it to the degree you did i really really enjoyed it. i liked it a lot are you worried that if you don't say you love it to the degree i did i'm gonna call you stupid I, just <laughs> I, I i'm i'm used to women calling me stupid so i don't think it's that fine. at all about you i think you're entitled to your opinion and yet i think this movie was so good yeah i, I think it's really good uh the part there's i can't quite find the words for what is it that didn't quite maybe something in the the actual atmosphere of it that that didn't I, I, it was like obvious that it was I I loved, I, I really enjoyed the first half and I like actually before we knew what the movie was kind of before we knew for sure yeah and there was something about the the switch I'm back and forth about the switch like what, what, is the switch the hitting of Mercedes yeah yeah but it seems to me that she maybe killed Alice and Janney prior to actually killing Mercedes. Um, cause I, what I love about it is you don't see that coming like when she's whoa, in the cage where, I, uh, no, no, hitting Mercedes. Oh. Whereas I think in other movies, the first big kill, they make like a big transformation moment out of it where it's more obvious that it's about to happen. Whereas here it, when it happens, like, whoop, didn't see that coming. <laughs> Shit, what just happened? Um, that, that snap internally. And I, I hope, I mean I, I don't really maybe I'll discover while we're talking about it because but right now in, in this media moment I I could think about the things that I really liked and, and main thing would be uh, Octavia Spencer I I, I love so I cared about her and, and the movie depending on where you placed her in the scene I would care about her and then be like oh no she's the devil then oh I care about you could have one moment where you're like oh these guys are a bunch of dicks to her and then you see her with an animal and you're like oh no she's a she's a horrible human being you should be put down herself you know like i thought the movie did a great job at um getting you back and forth and it's a really unique plot too it is very very yeah, unique plot yeah i think it's cool that what we watched was not premeditated in terms of like she was not seeking out these kids i don't believe it seems like she Chance, looked, yeah. she was asked to do the hey mister she looks at the. She says no. She was going to keep going with her life. Then she looks at the car. She sees who ca- whose van it is. She knows it's Luke Evans' company, mm-hmm. and she just decides, like in that moment, okay, yeah, you know, this is the way that my this is what I'm going to do. Um, and I, that was interesting. And then the, us trying to figure out the entire time why, why, uh, okay, I need to know where that guy comes from. I told you I had a million questions, and and let's you, go through it. You don't even care about my questions. I do care about your questions. Um, which guy are we talking about? Hold on. Um, the Andy? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy. I'm looking. Oh, you you have pulled up. I don't there it is. Corey Fogelmanis. No, I need to know who it is. Yeah, Corey no, Fogelmanis. Scroll. He's in something I watched all like Oxy Planet Girl. Girl Meets World? No, but it's not that. Where are you? Oh, my life with the Walter Boys. You watch that? 
Yeah, obviously I watched my life with the Walter boys. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. What? Okay, I got to look up who this director is. Okay, yeah, because you're you're curious about that. I'm curious about a lot of things. You're right. It's hard to type in Ma. On <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of like different things that are Even after I do the space, come on. How do I find it, Octavia? Yeah, he directed The Help. He really did? Which... Which is what... Um, but he must she, be an actor because I've seen him in things, no? And Octavia Spencer won the Oscar for the help. That's hmm. that's crazy. What a red... Like, such a such a different film <laughs> to do. I don't know. I find that, like, kind of mind-blowing. Well, maybe Octavia, like, pitched it to him or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, how did this come to be for... Because... Okay, Diana Silvers, who's the main girl in this. Oh, she's Hope and Book Smart. Which I love. She's in Glass. She's a oh, cheerleading smart, girl. Okay. Um, okay, maybe you knew her from that. I didn't see Ava. Birds of Paradise. Space Force. Did you watch that? No, no. Okay, she's in 17 episodes of Space Force, which I, I didn't see. But you said you had recognized her. Yeah, she's not in the movie that I thought she was in. Oh, bummer for you. Corey Fogelmanis. Um yeah, for sure. It's got to be my life with the Walter boys, right? Oh, Tay Taylor was the cop. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I recognize him. Yeah. That's cool. Put yourself in your movies. He's Nathan Walter. Yeah, that's why. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It lines up. That all lines. It all lines up, Greg. Yeah. And it did make, the movie made perfect sense, which I was worried at some point there was going to be like, it didn't make sense. Why were we here? Why were we going after these people? Um, I do think that we could have done something more with Alice and Janney's role, if I'm being nitpicky. She could have had a, some kind of deeper connection or something, because she's the only one who it's really like, why did she do that? Yeah, I just think that when it when it got to the part where she became kind of like a psychopath, that'll that's where some of the uniqueness of what we were watching seemed to kind of wither away a little fast for me. Like, it's, it's fun to watch, because I like watching her go crazy, and I like watching violence. So it's fun to watch. At the same time, it it was like, okay, I guess we're just doing the thing that they do. Like we're going through the beats now of what happens. We're, and that's where I think you and I were having a very big difference of feelings here. Because you were like freaking out. And I was like, eh, it's just a little bit trite so <laughs> the way this is going. When they sewed the mouth shot, when they put yeah, the I don't, iron. Yeah, I don't expect exactly that shit to happen, but it's still. You weren't freaking out? No. Nah. I was I I wasn't that invested in the kids, like I was. I was super duper invested in a couple of them. I was not that invested in Haley. I was not that invested in Chaz, and I was not that invested in um, Darrell. But the two Andy and the main girl. Yeah. Um, I was like really really invested in them, and I thought that they still did a good job of having characters for like. Like that random girl that was always asleep, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. That was fun. Things like that. And I, oh, and I was super invested in the daughter um, that was stuck upstairs. Yeah, I, I think what was happening, sometimes the movie to me, I couldn't quite tell if they were, it was, it was a time seeming a little bit at odds with itself of wanting to be like this serious psychological thriller or like a fun, campy horror movie. I didn't feel that. All right, yeah. And I love and I I'm love that for me that I didn't feel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's interesting. You know, like if you I played this for me, if you hadn't told me anything beforehand, you'd played this for me and then you had just said to me, What do you think? How do you think this did? I would have said, I think this has like an eighty five percent. Okay, yeah. I'm actually like more at the if I were to rate it myself off the bat, I would probably give it like a seventy five. Yeah. So you're above I love, I love the Rod Tomatoes. I'm above the audience score. And I but would you're say, below me. Yeah. I am less than you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I like the main girl a lot. I appreciated the really dynamics. Of, I mean, I'm making it sound like I don't like this movie because there's a lot I did like. I, I love the dynamics between... You just take the keyboard from one. Uh, I, love, no, I just was seeing if they're actually related because honestly, that girl who played Juliette Lewis's daughter like reminds me yeah. so much of her. I love the dynamics between... Um, Juliet Lewis and Diana Silvers. Like it, a lot of times when they like move into a different small town, it, it's usually so heavy in the drama between the tension with them, or it's they're just completely get along. And I thought they weaved in and out of something that felt a lot more nuanced. Like I, I really felt like these two performers had a, a good grip on it, and probably 
I don't know, just with the kind of talent that Tate Taylor seems to attract. He seems like the kind of guy who works on the on the characters with his actors or lets the actors work together and let that evolve the script or scenes in a way. Like that's just the vibe that I get with a couple of movies I've seen from him. Even from this movie, I would say that, you know, to to attract actors like, you know, Octavia, Lu- Octavia, Luke Evans, Allison Janney, Juliette Lewis. Yeah, totally. To like like the ensemble here of of a lot of these actors who are known to be like great talented actors it would it appears to me that he is and, and the fact that he's an actor himself i i think he's really great at pulling that out of people so i think the performances here are, are really strong and i thought even when it came to you know uh juliet lewis or uh luke evans at times it was going i wonder why they specifically got them and then you would see some more of the big scenes that would come out. You're like, all right, yeah, there's the there's the tell, there's the, there's the, there's the reason they're cast right here. Really strong stuff. The scene with Luke Evans at the bar with her. Yeah, he's like, nice turn. Yeah, what, that was kind of why I was like, oh, that is why they got him. Okay, because it seemed like kind of they didn't need him. The only one I still wonder why they got them is Allison Janney because she was a butt. She, I feel like this movie was a little cut down. It might have been. Yeah. I mean, it was. It was like it seemed like a ninety minute, ninety five minute. So yeah. they might have cut it down. This one woman who I really, really recognize, it's probably because she has two hundred yeah, credits on IMDb, she's in which is really, truly wild. Missy Pyle. She's been around forever. Uh, t- having two hundred credits on IMDb, you a stud. Yeah. Like, way to be a, a true working actress. What else did Tate Taylor do other than the help? He did the girl on the train. Oh, huh. That's interesting. So, yeah, I, I mean. He also did Get On Up with Chadwick Boseman, which I have not seen. I have. Um, I haven't seen The Girl on the Train. Neither have I. Oh. <laughs> good, good. I want to see. So I've it. seen two of his movies. He's is directed what I've done. 13 movies. Let's see. And really? That's what it says. Um, oh, Ava. Okay. That was what the, uh, the girl in this, the lead girl in this, she had also been in that. So that must be where. Cool. Oh no, I guess I guess that came after this. Um, get on up the help. Pretty ugly people, chicken party. Do you know any of that? Oh, he directed some of Grace and Frankie. I love that oh, that's show. Cool. Uh I think he did a really great job in this because I did not know what was coming next. I thought it all made sense. I thought the music was excellent. I thought the characters were great. I yeah, I think that he, I like him. <laughs> I, I like Tate Taylor too. Did he do, did he write it? Yeah. And I like the bit. I really like the the what the f element of the first half where you're going. I don't know why this lady's so obsessed, but I really want to find out. And, and it you made know. sense once we did find out. Oh no, he didn't write it. Scotty Landis. Yeah, it did make sense when it when it, when we finally got the revelation of it. I think it lacked. I and and with the main character too. I think there was like an extra. I think this movie was just missing one little extra character punch for me in some way. Because even that's why I think that line was so weird that we, when we're watching it, when when the main girl says, "I'm not my mom" or whatever, that line then, d- didn't play. That and, didn't play. And it's not just that it's a bad, weird line. It's like this line doesn't even really make sense. Yeah, that <laughs> like, was the one part of the movie that didn't make sense. She says, "I'm weak. I'm not and, weak like my mom." And they're treating it like this is her arc. You know, that's what that, that's clearly the beat of character arc. And I just went there going. What are they talking about right now? What did, did I did we miss something entirely, or is this something that was on the cutting room floor that that's allowing this moment to feel fleshed out and for for this descent to happen? And and I think uh, I, I th- wanted her to be like, my mom didn't help you, but I can help your daughter. That that could have been good too. Yeah, it's kind of lengthy. You know, it might need some workshopping, but like that yeah. seemed like the arc. Like <laughs> her mom was part of the problem when it came to Ma as kids, but she's part of the solution in helping the daughter and the yeah. daughter helped her. You know, that seemed to me the, the one line I can't I can't argue with you on that. That one line, you and I both looked at each other like, what? I think it could have really pushed I would have liked it to like push the envelope just a tad I think they should have killed off like half the kids. <laughs> yeah. But what about the animals? Oh hell no. Then I would be totally upset with the movie. And that dog almost died. I need you to care about children as much as you care about animals. I think hum- humans have really ruined life for animals. This was a shared planet and we have just corrupted them and we take advantage. We do terrible things to animals. What do you think of 
get home safe. That's the marketing for Ma. That's brilliant. You like it? Yeah, it's like when people drink and party and they're saying, I think it's, and there's also like multiple meanings to it. I think it's excellent. I thought she was brilliant. She was amazing. Like she is amazing. You're going to throw Octavia Spencer in here, an Oscar winning actress for some Blumhouse horror movie. It's like, what a, what a fascinating pick. And they really utilize her talents to the fullest extent. And uh, I thought the movie did an excellent job of getting its grips in me of, I'm kind of on her side. Like I would really go back and forth with, I'm kind of on her side, you know, <laughs> like these guys are, are jerks. <laughs> and you cannot be on her side though. Everybody has past trauma. Hers was a horrible assault yeah, situation. Yeah. In real life, I would not be on her side in real life. Well, you are real life. In private, I would. <laughs> But around friends, <laughs> no, in real, in real life, I'd be like, oh, this is a, I, I understand psychologically, like, this is a, a woman who's very much troubled and she's taking out her trauma that has been completely unresolved and it's led her to being an abusive parent and, and, uh, as all, all, all the elements, but you know, I wonder for what happened horror, with her, de- her husband. I think she killed him. Why do you think that? Because look at what we just watched in yeah, this but, movie. I, I'm pretty sure she killed the guy. And then like, I don't the know, daughter's she like has, super domesticated and she's clearly torturing her. There, there are elements. I'm not yeah. sure what happened with the guy because she says the ring is stuck on her finger. It made me feel like she killed another woman to get the ring because she'd been stealing everybody's jewelry. Yeah, uh, My wa- mind's wandering, but... I think there's just a lot of weird... Weird... Um, like... The things that were not completely fleshed out, I think, that, that were kind of dangling. Like, it was weird. I really, really enjoyed the journey so much when I was watching it. I really enjoyed the hell out of it. But when it ended, I was like, huh. Up until the very last moment, I was like, what was missing about this movie for? Even, like, Mercedes dying and, like, nothing about that. You know what's and, weird? And, uh, you know, and, and the stuff with the... At some, Pieces like with the daughter as well. There are just like elements that I feel like they needed a little bit more time with this movie to 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 either like punch it up a little bit more or let or or bring a little bit more of a conclusion. Even like the death of Alice and Janney and stuff. Mm. Like she, there are things that I just could have been ramped up a tiny bit more for me. But man, it's it's still like a perf- tour de for tour de what a, you know what's the phrase? I'm totally blanking on the word. Tour de tour de tour de France tour de Tour de force. Tour de force? Tortoise force? The tortoise force. It's a tortoise force. To be honest, it's a tortoise force. (laughs) The tortoise force. (laughs) Let me tell you, this movie was a tortoise force. I actually, the more we're talking about, see, this this very- I don't want to convince Yeah, usually when I watch a movie, the more I talk about it, the more I like it. This movie, I think, shouldn't be spoken about. (laughs) (laughs) Just let me live. You, you keep Ma's name out of your mouth, Greg. <laughs> let me live in La La Land about I'm Ma. I'm sorry. Because I, I, I walked out I of this. I love you're, your you're right. experience, You're, you're right. Every point you're got, saying, I'm like, well, that is true. <laughs> and yeah, we, did, we didn't explore We didn't explore the past <laughs> relationship of hers and what happened there. We didn't really explore Alice and Jenny's death. We didn't really talk much about Mercedes' death and the ramifications there, if there are going to be any, because Luke Evans is dead. And does anybody care about Mercedes at this point? Like, there are some things that we just, that were weird. Um, <laughs> and actually, I tortoise for just done with the <laughs> tortoise horse tortoise horse is tortoise saying horse. tortoise horse is telling me that the less i talk about this movie the better because i yeah, it's, it's fun i had i had a lot of fun i did i overall i'm like oh yeah absolutely i had a lot of fun and and uh, i loved being next to you to to witness <laughs> this journey you were on i was like it oh, really that messed that me was, up that was yeah. good and we've had experiences where i'm getting more messed up than you and and, and so it was really fun to like yeah this one really yeah. played with me i don't know what exactly it is about it that made me feel like Ugh. so i think like realistic psychological horror is like the shit that really messes you up and i sit here like ooh, fascinating <laughs> like tell ooh. me more <laughs> yeah. tortoise force, <laughs> tortoise force. <laughs> Tour de force is what it is. It's tour de force. I, is it? I, I'm doubting myself. Is it tour de force? <laughs> I don't know. I, I do know what you're talking about, <laughs> yeah. but I don't, I don't know. It, it, 
A tor- tor- tortoise horse. <laughs> that's that's that's. Should we look it saying. up, or should we just let the comments I tell us? I think we just live with tortoise horse. <laughs> I don't think we never say we From never here say on tortoise out, horse. It is tortoise horse. Tortoise horse. And that tortoise. is what it is. Barry Keoghan gave a tortoise horse performance <laughs> in South. Don't let anybody correct you. Yeah. I want to see. I'll just run a test and see if anyone, if they're like, did you say tortoise force? I said, no. no. I said, what do you thought? What do you, thought, what do you think I said? Tortoise force. <laughs> tortoise force. Uh, later, Ma. That's all the, the time we have. DVC. Loved that edition. Tortoise force. Rooting for a Ma to maybe we'll get some explanations. We didn't see her die. The house was burning. She was doing fine with the Call it Ma. Ma. Which there is a movie called Mama. What? <laughs> called Mama for. Because Ma times two. Yeah, it's the second Ma movie. <laughs> yeah. Call it Tortoise Force. Tortoise Force <laughs> Ma colon Tortoise Force. Uh, okay, later rejects. <laughs>